Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cynthia and I am a mom of two. So basically, I wanted to start off my YouTube channel by a story time. It's gonna be a story <laughs> of how I became a mom at 19. So basically, um, let's flash back to 2016. What happened, crazy? Um, so going back to 2016, um, around that time I was still in college, I was working, and I was kind of living with my boyfriend, kind of not living with my boyfriend. It was like, I literally stayed at his house all the time and I would go to my house just to like pick up clothes. Bob, well, baby, pick it up. Um, so one day we were at his boy's house and we were just hanging out, you know, and I had went to the bathroom because I was, I kept getting really bad stomach pains. I had stomach pains now for about like three days, but I wasn't throwing up. I wasn't feeling like any of the symptoms that you would feel when you know you're pregnant. So when I was in his boy's house and I was in the bathroom, the whole time I was just thinking, ugh, I have a stomach virus. I have a really bad stomach virus. I have to go to the doctors. I have a stomach virus. But you know, um, you feel those numb. Anytime you go to the doctors, they always make you take a pregnancy test and even like even if it's like when you go for something for your stomach or you say you're nauseous or something they're always like pregnancy test pregnancy test so i was just like you know what i'm gonna take a pregnancy test before going so i could tell them like yo i'm not pregnant i have a stomach virus like i was so convinced i had a stomach virus so my boyfriend and i his name's eric so i don't have to keep saying my boyfriend and i eric so eric and i um went to Walgreens and we bought a pregnancy test you know the one that come with two of them so we go we go back to his house and I take the first one and I'm there like ah this is gonna come on negative I got a stomach virus blah 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 and whatever so I take the test I'm sitting there I'm waiting blah, 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 you know no mind in the world just chilling I look at it and when I tell you I look at it my jaw dropped I was just like it said positive and I was like I was like nah this is wrong I'm gonna take that second one so I took the second one there waiting mommy it doesn't stand up I told you that already they're waiting blah 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 boom positive again I was like and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I started crying I didn't know what the hell to do I was just like what the fuck like what am I gonna do? Like, I'm still in school. Like, I don't even have, like, a good job. Like, I'm young. Like, I'm only 19. Like, what the hell am I gonna do? So then Eric comes and he knocks on the bathroom door because I'm taking a while now. He's like, babe, are you okay? Like, what's going on? And then, like, he opens the door and I'm just there crying my eyes out. Like, I'm covering my face. I'm crying. And then he's like, like, he's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And, like, I just pointed at the test. And he looked at it. He saw that it was positive. He grabbed my hand, he grabbed the test, he grabbed the box, we went to his room, and um, he was just there, he's like rubbing my back, he's hugging me, he's like, listen babe, like, everything's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, like, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, he was happier than I was, like, he was there, like, oh, it's gonna be okay, like, we got this, like, everything's gonna be fine, like, it's alright, it's okay, like, like, er like, everything's gonna be alright, basically, and like, just like, calming me down, so then, you know like being young like i had no idea who the hell i had to call where the hell i had to go so i just started looking like i opened google and i was like what do you do when you're pregnant like where do you go who do you talk to because i'm gonna be honest like i never been to the gynecologist like i i didn't know anything about that like my mom never told me anything about that so i didn't know so i saw that you had to go to a gynecologist so i called the gynecologist up I was like, hey, like, I took a pregnancy test. Um, it says I'm pregnant. Like, what do I do from there? And then the woman was just like, okay, like, we're going to make an appointment. Like, have you ever been here before? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, I've never been there. Like, um, I've never been to a gynecologist in general. And she's like, okay, well, we're going to set up an appointment. She set up an appointment for me. I think it was, like, two days later. 
So two days later we go, we go to the gynecologist and um, they make me take another test there. So I took the test there and obviously it came out positive again. And then so the gynecologist is just talking to us. She's like, okay, well, congratulations, you're pregnant. Um, and she saw my face, like she saw like I was still like, like in shock about it. But let me tell you guys, like I was gonna have this baby no matter what. Like abortion was never an option for me. Like me personally, like I wouldn't have an abortion, but I'm I understand if other women do and like if they go through it, like I get it. Like I'm not saying like I'm against it. I'm just saying like I wouldn't personally get it. But um so I'm sitting there and like she's telling me like oh um so what are you guys gonna do? Like are you gonna keep it? um you know there's other options there's adoption and stuff i guess she was also telling us that because we were really young like and we looked really like i have a baby face like come on like i look really young like i guess she didn't look at our charts just like let her look at my date of birth or something and saw that i was 19 which is still pretty young to have a kid but so she's just like yo there's options blah 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 and we're just like oh we have to think about it like that's all we said to her so we left and then Eric and I were talking, we're like, oh, so what are we going to do, blah, blah, blah. And I told him, I'm like, I'm like, we're having this baby. I'm like, what do you mean, what are we going to do? Like, we're having the baby. And then he was like, oh, okay. um, he's like, okay, great. Like, he was like, so happy. And then he was like, okay, great. Like, um, I'm excited, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we, after we left the guy, you know, we went back to his house. And honestly, we kept it a secret, like we did not tell anybody like so the first person to find out was actually my best friend Kami um Eric and I told her together when I was about nine weeks I want to say we found out when we were seven weeks so around nine weeks um we met up with her in New York and like we were having like a cute little like friend date and um <laughs> Drop the bomb on her <laughs> but she oh my god when i tell you that she was so supportive like i love my best friend she was so freaking supportive like she was just like oh my god like i'm gonna be a titi this this and that like she was so happy for us Come here. and then um so after that we still haven't told anybody else um but my mom my mom kept asking me like she knew like she suspected something was up she like would ask me daily like are you pregnant are you pregnant? Is there something you want to tell me? Are you pregnant? And I would keep on me like, nah, I'm not pregnant. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Honestly, like, I was just scared to tell her because, like I said, I was only 19. So, I didn't know, like, what she would say or what she would, like, if she would kick me out or something. Like, I didn't know, to be honest. Like, like, your parents act with you a certain way, but, like, when you put them, like, in a situation, you honestly, like, you don't know how they're going to act. So that's how I was in that situation. I was like, I don't know how she's gonna act. So I didn't want to tell her yet. So fast forward at this point now I'm like twelve or thirteen weeks around there. Um and we're driving my mom to the laundromat. I reckon I are driving my mom to the laundromat. And um she keeps asking me in the car, she goes, You're pregnant you're pregnant aren't you and i'm just sitting in the back and i'm like ignoring her i'm like i'm not gonna get into this right now so then eric wants to go and be a funny guy and he's like oh open the glove compartment and she opens it and there my pregnancy test my pregnancy says my sonograms are in there so she opens it and she sees the envelope so he's like oh open it she opens it and there are like three sonograms in there i'm gonna say the yeah from like the eight weeks and on yeah like like three of them in there and she just like she starts crying and i'm just there like oh up me she knows it's over oh you okay i'm like she knows it's over like i'm just sitting there waiting for her to scream at me waiting waiting for all hell to break loose basically and then she just turns around and she looks at me and this shocks me she just turns around and she's like listen like like don't think i'm crying because i'm disappointed like I'm, I'm not upset i'm not mad or anything she's like i'm just upset that you didn't tell me when you found out because i thought we were closer than that and i was just there like oh bless you bless you bless you <laughs> and i was just there like damn like i should have told her but i was just too scared like but I should have told her. So, 
um, not going to Eric's mom. Huh? Bubbles? Okay, later. Hold on, okay? So, um, now it's Mother's Day. So, on Mother's Day, we go to Eric's mom's house. And, um, we're gonna go out to eat with her. And I tell him, I'm like, listen, babe, like, I know you want to tell her today, but let's not tell her the second we get upstairs. Like, let's go to the room. Let's think about how we're going to tell her. Like, let's get ourselves together. So we go upstairs and we're not even there for two minutes. And I go to the room and he's just standing like in his door. I'm laughing because it was funny. He's standing like in his door, like where his mom's room is, but like by his door. And he's just looking at her and she's like, what happened? Like, but she speaks Spanish. So she's like, que paso? And then he's just like, la siente esta embarazada. I was like, for um, those of you who don't know Spanish, he was just like, oh, C Cynthia's pregnant. I was just like, <laughs> So, um, after we told his mom, I started posting it. And um, at first, I got, like, a lot of negative comments back. I was just like, people are like, oh, she's pregnant. Like, you're pregnant. Like, what the hell? And then other people were like, oh, congratulations. Like, this is a blessing, blah, blah, blah. Um... So, let's fast forward now. Um, the, well, hold on. Before I talk about when she was born. Um, so, throughout the whole pregnancy, like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I don't think I was actually ready for the actual birth part and for her being here. I was more like, oh, look, I have a cute bump. I'm having a girl, blah, blah, blah. So, now let's go to the actual birth so, um, I gave birth to her on December 7th. She was born at 12.15 at night. Um, and then when she was actually here, like, my mom helped me out a lot. Like, she was with her for almost a month. Not, not with her, like, I was there too, but she did most of the stuff for me. And I never breastfed Amaya. Um, I gave her only bottle. Because, like I said, I was 19. I, I wasn't really, like, how do I say... Like, I wasn't like, I'm a breastfeed, blah, blah, blah. Like, I still wanted to, like, live my life a little. <laughs> so, um, I don't think I was, like, actually ready. Like, nobody really told me how it was going to be, like, afterwards. Like, my body changing and how it was actually having a baby. Like, nobody really told you about those things. Like, people are just like, oh, like, she's going to be here and everything's going to be great. Like, nobody actually told you the truth about what was going to go on. So... Like I said, so my mom was helping me out for like a good month. So for any of you views who are mom and have a girl, like you know like when they're like a couple of weeks, they have like blood coming out and like stuff coming out that was like from you that are still coming out out of them, like down there. So like it just grossed me the hell out. And like my mom would clean her for me like for like a good month straight. Like I honestly, I would just feed um, Amaya and that's it. <laughs> Like, most of the time, Amaya would be with my mom because, like, I was still going to school and stuff. So, for a good month, like, Amaya was, like, mostly with my mom. And I was still living, like... Like, I was still acting, like, how I was acting before I became a mom, to be honest. But then, like, after that, like, it hit me. Like, I saw, like, like she would start making cute little noises and stuff like that. And it hit me, like, yo, like, you're a mom. Like, come on, like, get it together and stop being, like stop acting like a little girl like this is your daughter you grew her she came out of you like be responsible so then after that like that's when like my mom mode came in like i don't know if that makes sense but like like it came in like and i knew what to do and after that like it's been great after and not not great like it's been hard but it was good like i knew what i had to do that's what i'm trying to say but yeah, that's my story of becoming a mom at 19 and how it was basically. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe and I will see you guys next time with another video.